King Carter, King Carter, King Carter, I buy King Carter, King Carter. Hey, you hear that, fellas? You know it's playoff time when the arena's rocking like this. Time to win, baby. Let's go. Yeah, what's going on, team? IKC, it's your boy iPod King Carter here. I got this nice little NBA 2K14 My Career Playoff game. I know y'all thought I would never make it. Everybody always told me, man, you don't upload enough My Career. Where are you in your series? Well, I'm a rookie. This is my first time to the playoff. This is my first time to the big show. We were number one. Um, I'm sorry I don't have any, you know, ending stats from the season and everything. Just know we were number one on the West. We did what we had to do. The Clippers are the eighth, and it's time to turn up. Um, I was also thinking about actually live streaming some of my playoff games on my Twitch account. So uh, definitely check inside the description, click my Twitch account, follow the stream, as well as uh, make sure you download my app because whenever I go live or I upload a new video, I do send out notifications to my app. The app is called Team IKC. You can search that on the App Store or you can search it on Google Play. Um, but I'm just mad that they no sold me in the uh, beginning right here. I didn't even get a spot on the, on the intro. That's crazy, right? Disrespectful. Now to start the game off, you know, the LA Clippers, I'm going to tell you right now, they're a crazy team, but I'm going to catch them with the up and under cheese. Now you guys can't fault me for using the up and under cheese at all because I've seen so much up and under cheese in the NBA playoffs. And uh, another reason why I wanted to bring you guys a playoff so late is because I actually want to give you guys my thoughts on the real life NBA playoffs. Like, oh my goodness, they've been cheating. Oh man, it's, it's just unreal what's been going on. But I will say the LA Clippers ball, they're a crazy team, but we get them nice blocks all the time. You know, I do what I have to do. Now they call it a bad transition offense, but did you see your man fly for the alley -oop? Come on, 2K, you can't be lying to me like that. But uh, I will say right now that I had to be the guy to set the tone as I shoot that nice little three right there. You know it's cash. But, uh, yeah, man, I think I had to set the tone early because I knew that I couldn't get my team involved without the double team coming for me. So, you know, we just did what we had to do. But, man, I'm going to tell you right now, we leave people in the corner so much that it just pisses me off how bad we are on defense. Like, you would think, you know, we had the worst defense in the league, but we're number one in the league. Like, it makes no sense. But Blake Griffin, he was a monster this game. Look at this move to the rack. And he dunked on both of our big men and pointed at Anthony Davis, said, you tasted it. That's your bad. Check, check out the replay. Look at this. Mm, that was you. <laughs> But it's 25-25. It's a tight game. I will say that, you know, I had to score a majority of the points because, you know, my team just wasn't doing what we had to do. But look at how defense leads the offense right there. They actually did something right. And I'm going to have to say, sometimes I have to realize that I need to let the CPU do what they do. As in, with that still, right, I, normally I would have called for the ball. They would have given it to me, and I would have probably messed up the fast break. But, you know, now that we're in the playoffs, I kind of have to trust my team. But look, we're still leaving people in the corner. Like, YMD is probably watching this video right now like, yo, them prostitutes in the corner, though. That's all I'm saying. But check out the nice little quick shot. I was like, hey, that quick shot was cute and all. But I got something for that. So, you know, I came down, put a little spin around on him, drive to the lane. And, oh, my God. I just put my balls in somebody's face. Let's look at the replay and see who got them balls put in their face. What's that, Willie? Look at Willie. <laughs> what up, Willie? <laughs> but uh, it's the start of the second quarter. It's 33 to 35. And I'm kind of happy with what my coach actually did here. He sat me on the bench in the beginning of the game and I didn't come in the game until it was five minutes left in the second quarter. That's the type of rest that I think is realistic in 2K. It was beautiful. But um, I don't know what I was doing with those moves right there and I don't know what Tyreek Evans was doing shooting that three with all that defense on him. But look, look at the break, man. That's just... Mm. We need to get back, man. I, don't, I, I think it was my fault because I'm the point guard and I need to initially get back but uh, my coach was giving me a dynamic goal telling me that we need to get back in the game. And, of course, you know, turning up is like second nature to me. So, you know, we're going to make it do what it do. So we get the nice little steal right here. I drive to the lane, cut back out, and I tell the coach, look, man, I got this. Everything's cash, homie. I make that. <laughs> nah, but um, I evened up the score and got plus one on that. So, you know, 
we're doing good so far now what i'm trying to do is pull away but stuff like this happens man this it just kind of ticks me off a little bit but at the same time i'm like but that's what the clippers do though they lob city like you can't be mad at them so you know it's halftime 61 to 61 the hall of fame cheese is real ladies and gentlemen like it's just so crazy man but uh i'm gonna let you guys see the field goal percentage real quick before we hop into the third quarter I, it, it's just what happens man i can't do nothing with it can't do nothing against it i just gotta play like it now the clippers are coming out into the third quarter disrespecting us from the door look at how ignorant blake griffin gets right there with the 360 slant like really like that's what we doing blake like you just gonna you right you right I, when i was playing the game i was like it's nothing that i can do about that like as long as chris paul is in the game there's nothing i can do to stop it but there is something i can do to go up against it i'm gonna come back with my own alley-oop did you guys see the way i cut out and then just you know cut right back to the lane on reddick he didn't even know what was going on he wasn't even in the play he was watching chris paul defense like i don't know what he was doing out there but uh blake griffin like i said man he was just doing it up this game i i couldn't i had the double team all game it seemed like and even though i was playing you know semi good defense on chris paul me double team and blake griffin always had somebody open may it be reddick or chris paul but look at me dunking on blake like y'all gonna have to pause the video like oh my like yo chest to chest with that man chest to, that's how a poster is supposed to look it ain't supposed to be no little animation we supposed to go chest to chest but uh look at chris paul trying to put the moves on couldn't get it down but did y'all see the animation blake got if he would have grabbed that i would have been pissed but the homie ryan anderson throwing it down the, yo the defense i don't even know <laughs> like their whole bench was like you know what that ain't right. But check me out blocking CP shot, man. And still messing them up. But, yo, did y'all see the double block jump, though? I swear to God, I only pressed the button once. Now, what was Bellinelli thinking on that pass? Nobody knows, but Matt Barnes, he's going to go in for the dunk, of course. You know, get the game close again. Now, this little foul line shot, it made me mad. And I know I had to put this clip in here because these are the times that I turn up. Y'all see the isolation play, right? Y'all see the hesitation. You see me driving to the rack. And yeah, yeah, he caught all that. He caught all that. He, he ain't even know it, but he had to get it, though. You ain't blocking my shots, bro. I ain't Steph Curry. Oh, yeah, by the way, real life NBA, man, I swear, the playoffs is so cheese. Like, when I watch the real NBA, I really do compare it to 2K. And I will have to say, man, the stuff that goes on in real life, like the flopping, the massive calls and you know just bull crap calls and a whole bunch of no foul calls oh man and then the three-point shot yo these dudes are really cheese like you thought that three-point shot right there by roberts was cheese just look at the three-point shot that i'm about to hit like i'm telling you steph curry clay Thompson, like they was going at it but yo how about brooklyn though like they they definitely held the raptors off and yo that shot clock cheese though like that's real life shot clock cheese like the shot clocks went down like that's crazy and all i can say is I, I just can't wait man really i'm looking forward to the finals like i like that's always you know my main concern when it comes to the uh, nba playoffs the finals are what does it for me you know but uh we're about to hop into the fourth quarter you know just lowering things up look at look at that buff man right there man your boy's looking husky out here now we do have the lead 98 to 92 and Monty wants me to hold on to this lead. So, I cannot let them come back and get the lead. And I cannot let them win the game. So, I'm going to start it off like this. We're going to pump fake and just dump on my man. Like, really? Like, I just did that? Like, all this booyah and it was nothing he could do about it. Though. Like, Matt Barnes fell. Blake almost fell over top of him. Like, that's how I do it out here. And I'm going to the line. Who you know get crazy dunk animations like that and go to the line. Like it wasn't no suction cup defense right there. That was all pure just massive rage. <laughs> like I'm feeling like CP3 was in real life. Did anybody see how crazy CP3 was getting in that game? He was spazzing out on the refs, on his teammate, on anybody. He wanted that win so bad. 
But check out Matt Barnes, man. He can't be stopped this game. And they on a 10 to 2 run. So, like Monty said, I can't let them come down and get the lead. I can't let them win this game. So, I'm putting the moves on. I'm going to dribble until I get to the rack. Now, of course, sometimes that doesn't help me. But I pass it into Anthony Davis. He gets a nice reverse layup under the rim. I would have loved to see him stand up, dunk it, and dunk back on Blake. Because Blake... He just be disrespecting Anthony Davis like, y'all going to see? What? Just, just y'all wait. But y'all peep out my boy Reddick trying to cut to the basket for the back door. That type of stuff really doesn't work on me. But what I will say is, look at me jumping for the... Look, <laughs> yo, look. Did y'all see that, though? Like, look at look at the replay, man. Look at what he does. The Oh, my God. Blake effing Griffin, yo. He's not human. Like, I'm... Like, my man got his knees worked on. He's still dunking like this, like crazy. But it's all good, though. But it's 105 to 104, and I'm breaking angles out here, going to the lane with the right-hand layup. Yeah, y'all going to have to check this replay, though. Matt Barnes, you've been warned. Next time, you're going to fall on your butt. Don't play with me. You don't want that lifeline alert. You don't want that, ooh, I'm falling and I can't get up joint. Trust me now. But it's 107 to 113. We are leading the game, but Chris Paul is starting to wake up. Even though he had a terrible first half, he's starting to wake up in the second half. But check me out with the Michael Jordan cheat. Like anybody ever played my team and just dribble like the, that little dribble animation to get all the way to the room for the dunks. Like, yeah, that's what I had to do, man. It was it was real out here. But uh, it's 115 to 109. Five minutes left in the fourth quarter. Matt Barnes, I know that he's going to try to turn up. You know, I'm just waiting on it. Now, check out. Like, come on. Another alley the Lob City for real. Like, their tendencies is out of line. Like, DeAndre Jordan and Blake Griffin tendency for alley got to be on a million. Chris Paul um, alley-oop signature skill got to be on level 15. Like, did y'all see that crossover, though? And I'm going to the rack and dunking on my man. Yo, my man, Blake. You're not going to be disrespecting my team like that, fam. Like every time you try to disrespect us, I'm going to come down and disrespect you. I'm going to put my balls all up in your face, bruh. But stay away from me, man. <laughs> nah, I'm just playing. But uh, it's 122 to 118, three minutes left. And I will have to say, I need to start slowing it down. I need to start playing smart. And with Antoine Jameson on me, I'm just going to make it do what it do, baby. If you're going to come out past that three-point line, you're going to get abused. That's like NBA 101. No big man should ever defend a guard past the three-point line. He got used and abused. I think, it was, I think he was calling for a double team, but nobody wanted to help. I think that's what that was. But, yeah, my man is still in the corner. Yep, he did that. Look at the play. He got 24 points, though. Matt Barnes has 24 points. What the hell is Tyreek Evans out here doing in these streets? But, yo, did y'all see CP3 steal that pass? He was sitting there waiting for me to make a mistake. But it's all good, though, man. They, they down one point, and it's time for me to actually put some points on the board because I am not going to lose this game, and I'm not going to make Monty Williams think that I'm a nobody. So, you know, I tried to flashy pass it. It ended up going over to Evans. So, you know, I have to put things into my own hands, try to make something happen. I see Drew cut into the basket, and he receives the pass and gives me my ninth assist. I love you. I love you. But uh, it's 36 seconds left in the fourth quarter, and the Clippers end up missing the shot to take the lead. When Matt Barnes missed that shot, I had to creep face on. Like, I grinned. I had to creep face on. Like, it, it, was, it was crazy. I was like, wow. He really missed, though. How ass are you? But Drew Holiday is, is going to the line. I'm going to take these free throws out just because... I was the starting shooting guard this game because Eric Gordon is out. I think I deserve the sharding, the sharding, not not the sharding, the starting point guard spot, you know, in the playoffs. But I guess as long as somebody is injured, I guess you know I will be the shooting guard. But uh, did anybody see that I made that last three pointer at the end of the game to take the lead to ten? So we did win by double digits. It was a crazy game. We all, yo, as the combined points of over 260 points, the Hall of Fame cheese is real, man. You gotta, you gotta play crazy just to even keep up with the computer. But uh, I know a lot of people want that Hall of Fame verification. You know, he ain't playing no Hall of Fame. 
team playing on simulation well of course you know that's all i play on you know and the, and the funny thing is when you play on simulation your jump shots don't go down that much so of course everybody knows you i'm gonna be driving to the rack you guys go up 1-0 with the win tonight, getting things off on the right foot in this series. How do you capitalize on that moving forward to game two? Uh, I just want to say, I'm the greatest in the world. Nobody can stop me. I'm the man, baby. Get like me. I'm Shaq. No, I'm not. I want each and every one of the guys on this team to take that feeling we got when the final buzzer sounded and remember it. We got to keep striving for that, and only that, every game for the rest of this series. Tasting victory once is good, but we got to stay hungry. I ain't satisfied with just the first W, and I don't think any of the rest of my teammates are either. Year, this is Siri. Thank you for watching and be sure to like this video. For more videos from this particular mode, click more videos. If you want to see more content from IKC, click subscribe. Oh, and don't forget to follow IKC on Twitter and to like his Facebook page. This is Siri signing out. Peace.